<laughs> All right, guys. Now, as we said, the first thing we have to do with these is get them equal to zero. So minus 21. So subtract 21 from both sides. Wow. I'm not allowed to do anything with quadratics unless the entire expression is set equal to zero. Why minus? Because it's a plus 21. So now when I go ahead and clean this up. Well, how can you combine them? They're not even the You're right. I can't. This side over here is x squared <laughs> plus 4x minus 21 equals 0. All I did was subtract 21 from each side. So now it said equal to 0. It shouldn't take this long to turn your phone off. It's, uh, Just push voicemail. No, it's... Uh... <laughs> okay. Can we get back to work now, Sasha? Sure. I don't all know right. what happened. <laughs> guys, guys, all right. What kind of song is that? Guys. <laughs> now, if you think back to what we've been working on, guys. All right, it ain't that funny, guys. Guys, let's flash back a second. Here we have two products equaling zero. Here I've got a big pile of gobbledygook equaling zero. Now we have spent a lot of time in here over the last four weeks talking about how to turn this quadratic expression into two factors. You remember doing this stuff? Oh, you put the No, what? Wait, wait, guys. I'm going to split. I'm going to give it a little more room to work here. How did we get negative 21? How did I get 20, negative 21? I subtract the 21 from each side. So 4 minus 21 is like 7. 4x minus 21 is 4x minus 21. It's not 4. It's 4x, and I can't combine it. So now I can go ahead and start doing my factoring. I know x is x. x squared is x and x. Negative 21, probably 7 and 3, more, much more likely than negative 1 and 21. So it's Wait, negative 7 and 3, and three, negative 3 and 7 are possible combinations. So let's guess and check. We still have to do stupid guess and check. So, hey, Ms. Austin, 3 and 7. Okay, x plus 7, x minus 3, let's... Check the inners. Guys, can we please minimize the side conversations and chatter? Okay, so then we just plug it, that in? Eh, that, it's negative. Let's get everyone to stop the noise for a bit here. So I've got 7x minus 3x. I get 4x, and that checks out. Now, part of the reason I'm a little bit antsy about the noise levels, everyone is working through this on their own right now, and you're all thinking out loud, which is good if we weren't all trying to learn together, and I have people who are trying desperately to listen. So if you can, try to keep that inside voice inside for a little bit longer. That's like asking a college class, and it's It's possible. I don't want to look at the clock because I know there's a date. Yeah, say it. Guys, are we okay with the factoring? All right. So now I have taken x squared plus 4x minus 21 and factored it into x plus 7 minus 3. So x plus 7, um, x minus 3, and that equals 0. And from what we've just been talking about, if I have two products equaling to 0, I can split them into two equations. <laughs> x plus 7 is 0, or x minus 3 is 0. Zero. What doesn't equal zero? X plus seven is not zero. Why not? X plus seven is seven. No, x plus seven is zero in this problem. X happens to be negative seven. How is it negative seven? Is it always going to be like that? Negative seven from? I subtracted seven from both sides. From what side? I subtract oh. seven here, subtract seven here. Oh, yeah. Why would you subtract seven? In order to get the x by itself? Oh. That's okay. Hey guys. Guys. All right. So x is negative 7 or 3. And before we move on from this problem, let me point something else out to you guys that's important to note. This equation back here is a quadratic. The highest exponent is 2. I have two answers. <coughs> The degree of the equation determines the number of answers you should be looking for. 
If this had been x to the third, which you'll do in algebra 2. What you mean The what? The exponent is determined. Right. The exponent on the x, the degree of the equation, because it's a quadratic, it's a second degree, that tells me I should have two answers when I'm done. No. Okay, algebra 2, and in pre-calc, you start doing ones that are third degree cubics, fourth degrees, fifth degrees, and those have oh, three, four, and five answers. Oh, no. Quadratics, second degree, two answers. Mm -hmm. So you should always be on the lookout for that. All of your homework tonight, I should see x equals number or number, because they're all quadratics. They all have two answers.